All right, guys, I hope you liked that bumper fabrication video there. I haven't been doing as much filming as I'd like to, but uh, that's what we got together and that's what you get. But anyways, we fabricated the bumper out of a 3 16th inch steel. It's got a pretty beefy underside there in the back, as you saw, to not only obviously give you strength if you were rear-ended, since this camper does have the uh, fuel tank sits under the belly of it up there a little bit in front of the bumper and uh, we actually even lowered this bumper down a little bit just to give a little more protection to that fuel tank that's in there and uh, so we've got full led lights here we've got the auxiliary reverse led lights that will be on their own switch in the cab trailer wiring harness hookup here uh, the hitch obviously we've got a center little flush mount camera there that will be going to your in-dash radio. So when you put her in reverse, you'll have your uh, level reverse view. And we also, if you can see this piece of wiring here, will be a, uh, a secondary camera that will give you more of an aerial looking down view. And that screen will be one of the cameras that uh, replaces my rear view mirror. So you pretty much always have, uh, that will be on full time, your rear view mirror camera. And that's full time front and rear uh, recording, dash cam recording. And then, like I said, this one will only come on when you put the vehicle in reverse. And you'll see that on the, the double den radio. It'll come on. Um, continuing on, we've got the rear auxiliary outdoor shower in place. And uh, let's see, I'll show you. We did a little grip tape here. Just for when you're crawling up on there, since we are going to have um, a ladder here. And we still are going to have the spare tire mounted back here. You just have to rig rig up and design a spare tire mount there and uh, of course you can see how dirty this is this is obviously not the final layer uh, exterior layer of the truck we're doing the file on once the humidity in florida drops down and we can uh, put it on since it's a uh, humidity and temperature dependent we don't want to do it right now with the really high humidity and have a poor adhesion uh, we also got the heavy duty clevis mounts here for uh, if you get stuck and need to pull someone out or whatever, and those are welded to the main heavy duty uh, framing that's underneath this bumper skin here. And this bumper comes off and that all stays in place. So um, continuing on, we have the uh, rear center top light and all three of these lights are going to act as um, running lights that come on with your running lights. The center light is a brake light that will come on with these brake lights and the two corner lights are running lights as well as turn signals so when you're out in this thing and you hit the brakes you're gonna have the back these light up with your brakes and that and then your signals i might as well just go ahead and show you that here let's go flip that on real quick let's hit some hazards here I'm going to take another video tonight once the sun goes down to show you how bright these things actually are. The camera doesn't do it justice, but there's your, your all four hazard corners. You get down here, you can really see how bright these LEDs are. At nighttime, this thing's going to be insanely bright from the rear end. And I mean, if you don't see the brake lights, if you're behind me with these and that on, you're probably blind. But uh, like I said, we did a pretty heavy duty hitch here. If you saw the way I designed it, this is our uh, queso novelty plate here that our buddy made for us, Carlos. And uh, we've got the license plate lights here that come on with your running lights. And like I said, the uh, trailer hitch, auxiliary LED reverse, all that. And uh, you might be wondering why we did the rear hitch as heavy duty as we did so i'll just go ahead and show you that now and boom there it is so we've got the uh, old hitch hauler this thing is old and nasty and rusty it's been sitting for about five years but uh this was just to see how it worked out we'll be getting a new lighter one and uh, we got the bike on the back and i mean that thing is on there and it's heavy duty it's got a decent amount of ground clearance and if you're wondering if the truck's capable of this i'll put a picture here of my one of my past toyota campers and that was only the four cylinder uh, two-wheel drive ride height that we had built a custom uh heavy duty hitch on the back of and that truck towed this exact motorcycle around the country for over 10,000 miles without a single issue so i don't see this heavy duty four-wheel drive v6 having an issue uh pulling this bike 
and um i mean it's just the ultimate adventure mobile with this bike and the truck itself being four-wheel drive and i like having the bike it's nice for if you were to break down in the truck or if you just want to explore camp or if you wanted to go grab groceries and leave the truck set up and not have to break it all down i do have uh, some pannier boxes that go on this bike that aren't on it right now two large waterproof cases that go on it so we've got the bike there. I don't know if we'll bring the bike with us on any uh, super long trips. We'll probably do some short local trips and see how it does. And obviously it has its downsides bringing the bike with you, but uh, it was just an option we wanted to have. And I'm glad we did it because it's super awesome. I mean, come on, look at that. L who would see this setup roll by dang. and not go, dang. All right, guys. So uh, as you can see, we waited till it was dark out so I can give you guys a final shot. Um, of all the lights at night. So we're gonna fire this thing up and pull it out and get some far away shots and everything to see how bright these things really are. So let's go ahead and pull her out. So Pops is hopping in the Yoder now. To give us a light show here. Oh yeah, nice bright. That is so bright. I don't know if it shows in the camera, but I can tell you in person here, that is like super bright. Nice. That's crazy how bright these LEDs are. Can I, let me see the reverse light. The reverse lights are the only ones that are not uh, LED. Nice. Looks good. So now we'll go ahead and um, fire up the auxiliary off-road reverse lights to see how those do from inside. Those are, like I said, they'll be on their own switch. So we'll just put power to them right now with the battery and kind of see what they can do to uh, behind us here. All right, guys, so now we're crawling up in it, looking out the back window here, and pretty much this will be your back window view. You can see, I'm not picking up any film right now. It's pitch black, so go ahead and put power to the auxiliary lights. Oh, man. You can't really see. I mean, I'm sure you can see how bright that is, but really lit up. And then we're going to have our camera right here above top looking down, so whatever you're backing up into, you're going to have a huge... Uh, huge field of light. I mean, it's up, going all the way to the fence and the camera's not picking it up with the trees and everything back there. And now I'll run out real quick and get an exterior shot. All right. Oh yeah. Oh man, those are bright. So like I said, these obviously won't be used like in normal reverse situations. This will be if you're camping or you're driving at night off road and need a light up behind you to see uh, what's going on. You get all that going on. So that pretty much sums it up for this video on the Toyota build. We've got another video that's gonna be coming soon with a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, some surprises. If you follow my Instagram, you kind of already know what I'm talking about. But uh, we're getting eaten up by mosquitoes out here, so we're gonna call it. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.